you know, she just had all the tools. She had the speed, um, she had power, she had a great hand-eye coordination at the plate, and was truly, you know, a huge threat to our opponents because of her speed. Um, you know, if she didn't hit a home run and, and they put her on base, she could steal her way to third in about two pitches. So, you know, um, she led the nation in stolen bases and, uh, excuse me, the conference in stolen bases and the same season that she led the nation in home runs. So, you know, she was just kind of a terror. She's a very intense person. Um, she's a very loyal person. She's a very honest person. Um, and she's the most friendly person I've ever met. very compassionate and yet at the same time very driven, very competitive and um, very outgoing, very outdoorsy. So she was always up for a hike or, or whatever the girls wanted to do. Um, and she was a challenge at times. And um, so I'll let the challenging times stay between Kelly and I. But, you know, sometimes the best players are always the most challenging ones in terms of, you know, they're just always living on the edge a little bit. Kelly is the best athlete I have ever seen. Like, I mean, hands down, she, um, I mean, it's pretty unheard of that um, somebody has everything in softball. Like Kelly is super fast. Um, she's, she's a great hitter. She has a gun for an arm. I mean, she's just the most amazing, amazing player I've ever been. So she deserves everything that she gets. She was very typical. You know, she had her moments of feeling like, um, you know, just very normal in terms of she was never arrogant. Um, but she could dial up a home run anytime she needed one and, and uh, steal a base. And she was as aggressive of a player, run through the wall, run through the outfield fence of, of any player I've ever coached. If it wasn't for her hard work, like I really don't think that our softball team would have done as well as they did. She was our leader, even though she didn't like to be the leader because she's, but she really was because of her hard work. And I mean, it shows in what she does like just today. You know, I, I've, I've waited for 10 years to pass, and I really felt like of the players in the era that I coached, I really felt like Kelly was the best player I ever coached and needed to be the first player of mine to be inducted into the Hall of Honor. And so um, I, I'm happy and very proud for her, um, and I'm proud to have coached her, that players like her are, are what you know, kept me here for 19 years and, and are why we were able to be successful is because I had players that followed Kelly that could only have wished to be as good as Kelly, but she was an outstanding, outstanding athlete. Congratulations, Kelly. It's well-deserved. Um, you are the best softball player I've ever played with and um, just congratulations. Hey, Kelly, congratulations on a great honor. I'm very proud of you and was proud to be your coach. And I know that Mesa State College at the time um, was a great experience for you. And I just think all the memories that we shared together from the Limburger cheese incident in the van that probably had me as mad as any time as a coach has made for great memories and great stories. And I will never forget the look on your face when you drove away in that taxi cab uh, in Czech Republic. And I hope that that was a great experience for you. And I just think that softball has been very good to you and, and you were very good for Mesa State College and our softball program. Thank you again and congratulations.